Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Congressman Joaquin Castro, and it's my distinct honor to serve on the Board of Directors for the National Endowment for Democracy. And I want to say thank you to Ken Wallach, who's done a great job leading the board, and also to Damon Wilson. and the incredible staff of NED, and of course all the folks who made it possible for us to convene and recognize these honorees tonight. For decades, even as our nation became more po polarized politically, Congress has maintained steadfast bipartisan support for the people of Tibet. Just yesterday, I joined my colleagues in the House of Representatives to pass bipartisan legislation, the Resolve Tibet Act, that President Biden will soon sign into law strengthening America's commitment to Tibet and reiterating our dedication to its future. As you know, the Tibetan people have a long and proud history, deeply rooted to the historical lands of Tibet. Ever since China's invasion of Tibet in 1950, the Tibetan people have struggled to maintain their culture, religion, and autonomy in the face of an escalating pattern of repression by Chinese authorities. In recent years, despite an alarming rise in forced population transfers and other crimes against the Tibetan people, Tibet's leaders, particularly those in the Tibetan government in exile, have done remarkable work to keep hope alive among their countrymen. In 2021, the election of Sinkyong Siring saw 77% turnout a number that, quite honestly, we're jealous of here in the United States. It was the highest turnout in the history of the government in exile and a powerful sign of the yearning for democracy within Tibet. Since taking office, Sikyong Siring has worked to counter Chinese influence and mobilize Tibet's allies to speak up against the suppression of cultural identity within Tibet. In recognition of those efforts, it's my honor to present the 2024 Democracy Service Medal to Sikyong Penpa Siring on behalf of the National Endowment for Democracy.